Hi guys, I'm Styler and this is the Yumi Z Pro, or also now known as the Yumi Digi Z Pro, as Yumi have recently changed the name to Yumi Digi. In this video I will not go in depth with all features, but try to focus on the new camera, as it is nearly identical in all other aspects with the normal Yumi Z that I already have reviewed on my channel. So the new model comes with a dual Sony 13 megapixel camera setup with some very interesting features, more to that later in the video. As always I will start the video with a quick unboxing so you can see what you get with the phone and I will have a closer look at the design details and also compare it with the normal Yumi set. So here you see the brand new phone in black, still with plastic attached to the front and back. It looks almost just like the previous model just called Yumi set. But on the back we this time find two 30 megapixel Sony IMX 258 cameras that can create a special 3D live photo and pictures and videos with a bokeh effect and you can even also refocus inside a picture after it is saved. So what this camera actually can do is to focus on a near object so that it is sharp and then blur the background out so you get this big contrast that looks nice and make subjects stands out with a soft background. In the bottom we find a microphone, a standard USB Type-C port and a single speaker. On the left we have a dual SIM tray for nano SIM cards and support for a micro SD card. In the top a 3.5mm headphone jack. On the right the power and volume buttons which are responsive and exactly the same as on the previous Yumi set. In the bottom we have a fixed home button with a built-in fingerprint sensor. In the top there is a 30 megapixel Samsung front camera, front flash and a multicolored notification LED. The design is pretty cool and I must say that I like this gunmetal grey on the back better than the normal silver. Included is also the typical English quick start guide with a QR code, overview and the specifications. And here the rest. First let's have a closer look at the big fast charger. There's a CE logo and you here see the specifications. It should be able to charge the phone's built-in 3780mAh battery fully in about 100 minutes. The USB Type-C cable is in red and black and the connector is also branded as you see here. Pretty standard but nice. So here I have the Set Pro to the left and the older Set to the right. They look very identical, only the name, color and the cameras are different. So here the cameras close up. You may notice that one has two cameras, while the other one only has one camera but laser focus instead. But besides that the build quality, materials, buttons, ports, Design and details are the same. Some may ask which one is the best or which one should I buy. It is really up to you as the normal Yumi Z will be a bit cheaper, but the Yumi GG Z Pro will have a more advanced camera. Regarding performance and other features, they will be about the same. So the first time you boot the phone, you will see this logo now saying Yumi Digi. And here you see the phone booted for the first time, clean and very close to stock Android. Only the most necessary apps, like for example a music player, sound recorder, flashlight and some few Google apps and the Play Store are pre-installed out of the box. So the first thing I'm going to check is the build and Android version. I was hoping for Android 7, but as you can see it just comes with 6.0, so I guess I just have to live with that for now. Yumi GG are saying that they are still working on 7.0 and that it then should be released wireless OTA later. Ok so now I have configured and set up the phone with my personal apps, settings and stuff and as you see it from standard has some on screen buttons. But you can also go into the quick toggles and there disable the virtual buttons and enable real hardware buttons instead. Normally I in fact prefer that 
as the buttons then don't take up any space on the screen. The fingerprint scanner works good and it is reliable. For me it is about the same as on the previous Yumi set. I don't feel much difference here. With one tap it wakes and unlocks the phone. It's okay, but it could still be a little bit faster to wake up. So this is the device's property where we can see interesting stuff about the used cameras, LCD and touch panel. And here a little bit more info, also including some sensors. So at first glance the camera app looks just like the one from Yumi Z. It has support for 4K video recording in MPEG-4 and a lot of different settings for the camera, but unfortunately no optical image stabilization. But one new feature is the bokeh mode where you can use a small slider to blur out the background and the monochrome mode where it will take beautiful pictures in deep black and white. Let's take one picture with the bokeh mode and after you have taken the picture you can then in fact refocus inside the saved picture. That is only possible because it is using the dual camera setup and pretty cool. There are also some funny effects like changing the background. It doesn't always work good and depends on what's on the picture. But here you can see an example of what's possible with different cool filters. The last feature is the special 3D live photo mode, also known from the HTC M8, where it uses both cameras to create a 3D effect. It is not so good for straight objects as you see here, as it then looks kind of distorted or strange, but you get the idea. For pictures of people or faces close up, it works better. For the 3D effect you can just tilt the phone, but you can also just use your finger on the touchscreen. So the bokeh mode also works for video recordings in full HD. Here's an example. This is in fact recorded with the phone. First I here test the bokeh focusing. Close up and then the background. And I'm doing this with the slider on the screen. The phone tries to keep the objects in focus even when they move, while it keeps the background soft. It's not perfect, far from, but still a funny feature to play around with. And with the right amount of background blur, it looks nice. Here the gallery and there is a small icon in the corner on the pictures where you can refocus and edit the bokeh effect. Besides that there is also a nice color filter like known from Instagram that can add warmer, stronger or cooler colors to the picture. The GPS is fast to get a lock and has support for GLONASS. The signal reception is also pretty good and here you see that it says 4 to 3 meters accuracy so it will work fine for map navigation. And it definitely has an improved GPS over previous models. Next let's do a sound test. The sound is very loud but in my opinion a little bit flat. The 3D games run great on this phone, very fast and smooth with no kind of lag.
after gaming it can get a little bit hot, here you see the values, but I would say it's kind of normal and it still runs fine. The anti 2 score is a little bit lower as on the Yumi set, I'm not sure why, but it's still very fast. In the display settings we also find clear motion together with MyroVision, nice because not all phones have both. And here the band mode, let's have a look. And it of course has full support for LTE Band 20. Let me also scroll through CPU set, so you can see the internal hardware and values. And it also has a fast gyroscope sensor that works great and with no issues with Google Cardboard. Overall the Yumi DG Set Pro is for the price a powerful and nice China smartphone. The dual cameras are pretty good and has some nice features and effects and much better than the cheap ones out, but of course not on level with Huawei's models. But for the price it definitely does an excellent job. So that's it for the review, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.